Hi, I'm Dwayne Nicol. I'm almost shouting because I'm so excited about Lifecycle ES2. If you haven't tried it out, there's so many new features and Lifecycle ES2 has one of the most sought after features that were requested from previous versions of Lifecycle. And this is on the designer itself. I'm going to show you this really cool thing called Action Builder. And Action Builder takes a lot of the guesswork out of creating simple scripts for your PDF forms. Very, very intuitive, very easy to use. When I see the Lifecycle Designer team, I'm going to buy them a beer. Yes, Jeff, you will get a beer out of this. Okay, let's start looking at it, shall we? So I've got the Lifecycle Designer installed on my computer. Uh, this one is uh, the one that ships with ES2, so it's a little bit different from some of the other ones that we've used in the past. When I create a new form, I'm going to do a simple use case. And this simple use case will be just to add a form with the drop-down list. And we're going to make the drop-down list uh, have two choices on it. And we're going to set a text field in as well. And the idea is going to be that the text field must be disabled until somebody does something with the drop-down list. Um, to make this happen, it used to take a little bit of know-how with uh, coding and people would have to look at the uh, you know, JavaScript in the code and uh, you know, add a lot of uh, thinking into uh, building the forms. Um, luckily, this is much easier with the uh, Lifecycle ES2 build of Designer. So I've got my form set up. I've got the drop-down list on it. I've got the text field. First, let's go down to the drop-down list and add a couple values. So we'll call this value 1 and uh, then we'll add value 2. And now we're going to set up on our form that the text field must be disabled when the user uh, gets to the page. So go up to this top menu, Tools, and click on Action Builder. And we see here we have no actions because this is a new form. And we click on the Add a New Action button. And now we can choose the condition. So when object so we've got a number of things. So we can take, uh, you know, objects. We could uh, detect uh, events on the button, the drop-down list, text field itself. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to detect when the form has initialized or finished loading and select a result. We're going to uh, enable or disable an object. And we're going to select text field 1. And we're going to set it to disabled. So there's our first Action Builder rule. And now what we want to do is make it so that when the drop-down list is uh, used, that the person who uses the form when they select a value, it actually makes the text field enabled. So we'll go back to the Tools Action Builder and add a new one. It said when object drop-down list is changed. And you can see there's a couple of others as initialized, entered, exited, text changed, etc. We're just going to do change. Select a result. Enable or disable an object. And we're going to set the same object, text field, to be enabled. Now if you want to see the code that this generated, uh, this can be done by simply sliding down the uh, barrier and you can see the code has been generated. This is very important not to edit this code. Um, the, the code that's been generated up here, uh, you wouldn't want to uh, mess around with. And if we want to see this running, we can click the pre preview PDF and see if we got the expected behavior. So here's our PDF form launching. It's finished loading up, and we have our text field. I put my cursor in here, and when I type, you can see I'm not getting the ability to put anything in this text field. If I check a value, it's now enabled for editing, and I can add something into it. It's really that easy. We could take this concept and do a lot more with it, but I'd rather you download this, pick up the DVD, install it, and get going on this. It's so easy to use. There's so many possibilities, and it takes a lot of the guesswork out of designing your PDF forms for Lifecycle ES. I'm Dwayne Nickel, and I'm excited about Lifecycle. Contact us here at the show if you want the software.